bureaucracies of the executive branch. So they can exercise authority over the agencies and bureaucracies of the executive branch. This put over the executive agencies and bureaucracies. How do I do this? <laughs> All right, give me two ways they can do that. How can Congress twist the arms of the agencies and the bureaucracies of the federal government when they're not doing what Congress wants them to do? Control the budget, Control the budget is one. They can tinker with their budget. They can threaten to cut their budget. So they can control their budgets. Give me another one. What did they do with the Department of State during Benghazi when they thought they didn't do a good job? They called a what? A hearing, a committee hearing to investigate the agency. So they can investigate what a committee hearing. So that's how you perform legislative oversight. That's how you twist the arms of those agencies and departments to make them behave according to what Congress or how Congress wants them to behave. Alright, before we go over the last one, let's go over what can the president do to them back? He can veto a bill. Sorry? He can veto a bill. He can veto. That's about it. <laughs> President of the United States has the veto power, which means he can reject legislation coming from Congress. The one thing that Congress does the most, which is pass legislation, he can just eliminate yeah. and reject. But what can Congress do about it? Override. They can override, they can override the veto. So they can override a veto as well. So uh, the President can veto, while Congress can override vetoes with two-thirds from which houses? Both. Both. I don't think that's right. All right, six minutes left, guys. It's gotta go fast. All right, Congress, Senate can block appointments to the judicial branch. Just like with the presidency, they can block appointments to the federal courts. So whenever a new vacancy opens up, the President of the United States has the responsibility of filling that vacancy, but the Senate has to confirm so they can block those appointments that the President make. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what this is supposed to say. But just ignore that. Both houses can create new courts, new federal courts, if they want to. It is their responsibility, it's Congress' responsibility, to create new courts as they see fit. Originally, in the Constitution, only the Supreme Court was established, but the Constitution gives Congress the ability to create new courts if they see fit. That's why today we have a lot of federal courts that exist. We have district courts, we have appellate courts, because Congress has the ability to make new courts. They can expand the size of the Supreme Court. Anybody know how big is the Supreme Court right now? How many justices are in the Supreme Court? Thirteen? There's nine justices. Originally there were only five. Who expanded that? Congress did. They can expand the size of the Supreme Court. They can make it to 25. They can make it to 101 if they want to. Um, you all remember FDR's court packing plan? Yes, that's fine. We'll talk about that in a little bit later on. Judicial review is the one thing the judicial branch can do to them back. What is judicial review, and how can they? How can the courts use judicial review against Congress? They can declare a bill, a legislation, unconstitutional. After all that hard work, even if they get the president to agree, or even if they override a president's veto. <laughs> The judicial branch can declare the laws unconstitutional using their power of judicial review, which they've done plenty in the United States. Oh, that was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that However, there's one thing Congress can do to combat that. 
but it's not entirely up to them. But there's one thing that they can do. They can propose what? New laws. So let's say Congress and the President pass a law that says everybody in the United States have to be Catholic. And the United States Supreme Court or the federal courts declared that unconstitutional. What can Congress do? Change, change an amendment? They can change the what? Why is this unconstitutional? What's, what's in the Constitution that stops this from becoming First, a good law? First Amendment. First Amendment. So what can Congress do? They can propose a change to the Constitution. They can propose the repeal of the First Amendment, for example. But they can only propose an amendment who has to ratify all amendments to the Constitution. Why is it so difficult? The states have to ratify it. But they can propose a change. So they can propose an amendment to the Constitution. Uh, guys, they got a sheet of paper for me, please. Be right back. Okay. No one looking around. Name, date, and period. Let's go. I was going to actually put name, date, and period. Hold on. Next time, same thing, you can use your notes. No, it's just chapter, this lesson three from yesterday, basically. Um, what is it about? All right, guys, because I'm calling you too much, don't expect this every day, but this is your first time. So you have a word back you can choose from. Some of these are red herrings, and they're not really going to appear in your test. So you're being friendly, right? You're being, you well, turn over your lead. All right, number one, blank is the committee that reconciles the differences between the House and the Senate versions of a bill. Blank is the committee that reconciles the differences between the House and the Senate version of a bill. If it's not on there, then it's not the correct answer. <laughs> All right, listen carefully because this can get confusing. Number two, Representative X gives his support for Representative Y's bill in exchange for Representative Y giving his support to a future bill from Representative X. This is known as what? I vote for your bill, you vote for my bill. What is that known as? Oh, Sir, yes. Will you, can you repeat question one? Because I already answered two. <laughs> Sorry. Can you repeat question one? I answered two. Okay. Yeah. So this is why. <laughs> this is oh one. Yeah, because I already answered two. Committee that reconciles the differences between the two bills. Okay. That's one. All right. Number three. These are permanent policy committees that gets first crack at a bill, and this is where most bills die. This is a permanent. These are permanent committees that are in charge of a policy area. And this is where most bills die. A permanent policy committee in charge of a policy area. This is where most of the legislation, the work of legislation gets done. Number four. These are informal groups that exist in Congress Composed of members with similar characteristics, they're special because they're able to represent the interests that they're representing directly because their members are composed of the members of Congress already. These are informal groups, they're like clubs that exist within Congress, so people with similar characteristics, maybe their race, maybe their gender, maybe the region that they live in, they're special because they're able to represent their interests Oh, I'm sorry. It's not, <laughs> it's not there, but you can guess what it is, hopefully. Yeah. Oh. It's not there, you can guess what it is. You're doing it really quickly, right. but not with that much how you said it. Okay. These are informal groups, or like clubs, that exist in Congress. Is that the word on there? Sorry? Is that the word to the word? Kevin, I forgot that. All right. 
Number five. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Blank is the committee in the House of Representatives that assigns bills, rules, and regulations for debate. They can determine when a bill will be debated on the House floor. They schedule the bill for debate. How long will it be debated? And what kind of amendments can be made on a bill? Blank is the committee that only exists in the House of Representatives that assigns bills rules for debate. They can determine the schedule for the bill. They can determine how long the bill will be debated on the House floor. And they can determine what kind of amendments can be made on the bill. Andrew, next time you can't use electronic oh, notes. Yeah, right. you can use your own copy of notes. Next time, bad. <laughs> well, you can use it right now if you don't have any. Cool. I just finished. <laughs> All right, anybody want me to ask them one another question before ask we end? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'll repeat a question. Number repeat one. number one. Blank is the committee that reconciles the differences between the two versions of a bill made by the Senate and the House of Representatives. Their job is when the Senate passes a bill and the House passes a bill, they're going to be different, so their job is to make those differences, break and reconcile those differences. Anybody else? Number four. Number two. Um, this is you vote for my bill, I vote for your bill. Representative X gives you support for Representative Y's bill in exchange for Representative X support for Representative Y's bill. Number four, these are informal groups that exist in Congress composed of members with similar characteristics. To give you a clue, it should be around the first part of your notes from yesterday. It is. Just, just a quick confirmation. All right, anybody else? I'm going to count to five, and then we're going to exchange papers. Yeah, yes. What's number three? Number three, these are informal groups that exist in Congress composed of members with similar characteristics. Anybody else? We need to move on, guys. We don't have a lot of time. We need to, we need to change papers. No cheating, please. There's no six. All right, everybody change papers, let's go. You don't have enough time. Just a sort of guys. You guys figure it out. Congressional. Figure it out, as long as you don't have your own paper, I don't care. So figure it out amongst yourselves. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey, guys, put your names on it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go to that. All right, number one, the conference committee reconciles the differences between the House and the Senate version of a bill. Number two, I vote for your bill, you vote for mine, that is log rolling. Most bills die in permanent committees that we call standing committees, standing committees. Wow. Informal groups that exist in Congress, they can put caucus or congressional caucus. That's all that's fine with me. Is that three? That's four. Four, 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 four. Number three is standing committees. Number five, um, the House Rules Committee is what assigns the rules for bills. Each question is 20 points. Go ahead and add up and give them their points, please, and then give it back, give their, their paper back to them. Uh, all right, after you're done seeing your grades, go ahead and pass them forward, please. I'll put them in. We'll do this next time again. <laughs> next time, we're not going to have a word back. If you want to make up this quiz, you're going to have to do some FRP for me this come in the morning. And I'll tell oh, him. <laughs> if you want to request, you're going to have to do like the homework for it. So, so something that I'll like this, this, this like what we usually do for homework. Where, this is a quiz grade? This is a quiz grade. Nice. So it's one or two. You have to do it. I'm just wondering if I was going to sign the thing I gave to the grade. Wait, why? Because they all come to the homework. They all come to the homework. They all come to the homework. And I'm struggling in two classes. And they but want every for every class. They don't want like every class. Can I just say you're doing well? I don't want to lie to your parents. Eh, it's okay. 
Yeah, I mean, they won't prove that I'm passing. It's a sign that I did do well. I actually have to make sure what. Andrew did all right. Andrew's a lot. I'm 85. I'm a legit 85, 85 in this class. And I'm too many. I'm average. You're okay. Okay, so we're good. Did I come to tutor you? No, but you don't want to pass it. Just like your parents. I did it! <laughs> huh? Is that any day? I'm passing this. Wait, is that two quick screens or one quick screen? That's two. God damn, yeah, that's how we make it. That's how we make it. No, I don't want to fucking join. Another one? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. 